what's everyone? It's Steven here, and welcome to another weekly Lego Deals. For the week of August 6th, 2023. And Best Buy actually had a quick 48-hour flash sale that just ended last night. So hopefully you saw my community post about that, that I put up right as the sale began. But even with that being over, there's still a fair amount of new deals this week, including Costco joining back in on the fun. Also, no Lego coming soon in this video. There was just so much that was leaked or announced last week. So my intentions, precluding any family or work obligations, is to actually put out a separate video in the next day or two that recaps everything because it was quite the info dump. But as always, if you end up liking this video, consider giving it a thumbs up or subscribing. But let's not waste any more time and let's jump right into those deals. So starting off again with the Lego shop and this week's gift with purchase. And for the final day of this promotion, you can still get the Fun Creativity 12-in-1 set as a gift with all purchases of $80 or more. So today, August 6th, is the final day of this promotion, or, you know, while supplies last. And today is also the final day of the Choose Your Gift promotion, for either the Lego City or Lego Friends poly bag as your gift with purchase of $40 or more. Just make sure at checkout you type in the code SKT2 for the Lego City poly bag or the code EMB1 for the Lego Friends one. As far as what comes next for the gift with purchase, I've heard a few rumors, but nothing really concrete. Again, we should find out for sure in just the next couple of days. However, for those of you that are interested, we did get another tease about the possible Lego Castle Magisto-centric gift with purchase set that was initially thought to hit this summer, but Brick Clicker is right. It's been pushed back and will be featured as part of this year's Lego VIP slash Black Friday promotion coming towards the end of November. All right, but let's move on to the actual Lego deals. And let's kick things off with the Lego shop who is doing some 20% off purchase bundles. The first two bundles are for the Lego Disney Princess series starting with the Princess Bundle, which includes Aurora's Castle and the Princess Enchanted Journey set, which brings the cost down to $88 from $110. Bundle 2 is the Magic Bundle, which includes Ariel's Underwater Palace and the Madrigal House. The price for this one is $120, down from $150, though it shows it as temporarily out of stock. And the final bundle is the Dark Side Bundle, which includes the Thai Bomber, the release back in the spring, and the Darth Vader Helmet. And at 20% off, the combined cost is $116, which is down from the normal price of $145. This bundle is also temporarily out of stock. So all three of these bundle promotions will last until August 10th. So we'll have to see if any of these come back in stock before the promotion. So we'll have to see if any of these bundles come back in stock before this promotion actually ends. All right, next up is Lego City. And Walmart actually has the Lego City 2-in-1 Tractor and Construction Digger set on sale for over 50% off. So you can pick it up right now for $20 down from $45. And then over at Best Buy, they have two of the Mission sets on sale for 30% off. Both the Water Police Detective 
and the Mars Spacecraft Exploration. You can pick them both up for $28 each. And then Walmart also has the Lego City Lunar Space Station on sale for just over 30% off. So you can pick it up for $55, which is the cheapest price out there right now as they're undercutting everybody else by a whole dollar. Next, Amazon has the Lego City Rocket Launch Center on sale for $27 off, so not quite 20% off. So you can pick it up right now for $133. After that, we go over to Lego Friends. And much like Lego City, Walmart has the three-in-one gift set on sale for $20, down from its normal price of $45. And then Best Buy has the Roller Disco Arcade on sale for $46, which is over 20% off its normal retail price. And then Walmart has the Organic Farmhouse set on sale for just around 30% off, and you can get it for $27 off at $63. Next up, going to Lego Minecraft, and Walmart has the Warped Forest set on sale for over 30% off, so you can pick it up for $20. And then Costco has the Lego Minecraft, the Sword Outpost, and you can get it for $40 for this newer set. And then Best Buy has the Panda Haven set on sale for just under 20% off, and you can get it right now for $41. Then for Lego Star Wars, Best Buy has the Luke Skywalker Red 5 helmet, which is one of my favorites of the helmet series on sale for over 20% off, so you can pick it up for $54. And then Zoolily.com actually has the ATTE Walker set on sale for one of the better deals that I've seen for this set. So you can get it for $23 off, so not quite 20% off, you're still a few dollars away from that. But you can get it for $23 off and pick it up for $117. Then going over to the Lego Rapid Fire. And Walmart has the Lego Super Mario Boss Sumo Bro Topple Tower expansion on sale for $20. And then Best Buy has the Disney Princess Aurora Merida and Tiana's Enchanted Creation set on sale for $54. As well as having the Lego Floral Art set on sale for $56. And then Costco has a pair of new sets that just released on August 1st on sale for $20 off their normal retail price. That includes the Lego City Deep Sea Explorer Submarine, which my son really likes because of the sharks. And then there's also the Lego Dreams, the new theme, and its Fantastical Treehouse set, both of which are on sale for $90 down from $110. And then Zoo Lily has the newer Lego Jurassic Park set that just released in June. The Visitor Center T-Rex and Raptor Attack on sale for $10 off, so you can get it for $120. And then Costco has the Lego Rolling Stone set on sale for $20 off, so you can pick it up for $130. And then Costco also has the Lego Icons Atari 2600 set on sale for $40 off, which is the cheapest I've seen this set on sale for so far. So you can pick it up for $200. And then just to show you the ridiculousness of my local Walmart, they put the Lego Inquisitor Scythe Transport on clearance for its normal retail price of $100, which when I saw this, I couldn't help but take a picture and just laugh because this is so fitting for my Walmart. All right, that's it for the deals this week. Again, I'm really hoping to actually do kind of a Lego coming soon video, hopefully in the next day or two, as I really do enjoy doing that segment and just having fun talking about some of the Lego leaks and more of just kind of the upcoming Lego sets that we're all gonna get. But if there's any sales or sets that you're excited about this week, let me know down in the comments below. Let's talk about it.
But as always, thank you all so very much for watching my video. I really do appreciate it. And I'll check you next time.